One of the most important things in health divers is getting samples and due to the recent patch, we need to update the way to actually get it because a lot of the methods that were used in order to get not only the normal samples like the green ones and the orange ones which seem to be the easier ones, but the harder ones, the super samples, unfortunately no longer works because the main meta to do this was to use a shield, to use a railgun to be able to fend out the enemy, but unfortunately this method since it got nerfed, it's no longer viable because if you tend to go into their level 7, level 8, or level 9 difficulty, you're going to get rushed, you're going to get bombarded, and you're going to lose your super samples. So I wanted to give you guys a method that I've been using even prior to the nerf that I've been able to get this amount of super samples relatively easy, relatively fast, due to the fact that I'm doing this mostly stealth, and the majority of the time I'm not even taking damage, because of the way I'm positioning my playstyle. Now, in order for you guys to get the first green and orange sample, the best way you could theoretically play this in any difficulty, but the best way is just to run around the map and look for the question marks. Usually the question marks will theoretically have these uh, lesser samples, I would say. They're still very viable as you're leveling up, but we're gonna be focusing primarily on the super samples. So like I said earlier, guys, based on the difficulty level, it's gonna determine how many super samples you're able to find within the map. So if you're playing level difficulty seven, you're gonna find three samples. If you're playing level difficulty eight, you're gonna find a total of four samples. And if you're playing Helldiver difficulty nine, you're gonna find a total of six super samples. Now, the one thing you wanna keep in mind though, if you're playing the difficulty level nine, that means that there are gonna be multiple areas you're gonna to have to go to because sometimes all the super samples are not within the same location. So there's a particular rock that you're gonna be looking for when you're trying to get these super samples. And I'm gonna give you guys the most effective way to actually do this to where you're actually gonna be finding this rock very constantly without having to look all over the map. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you guys select the correct mission. Now, theoretically you could pick any mission in the game, but I personally found the best mission to actually pick has been the Blitz mission. Now the reason why this mission is so important and so much easier to do is because it keeps the map relatively small, allowing you to find the rock really easily. And it also has the fastest extraction time, which is 12 minutes. Now, in addition to that, as you guys are noticing here in the footage, I literally land right where the rock is at. And theoretically, if you guys try to land center of the map, you will most likely find the rock very, very fast. Now, with that being said, within this rock, you're gonna find the super samples. That's not the hard part. The hard part is actually exfilling because basically what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to wait for the timer to run out and to survive. Because after you get the samples, the main objective here is not dying. So this is where the stratagems come into play. And the stratagems I love picking for this particular mission and the way I've been doing it is getting myself a jetpack. What this is gonna allow me to do, it's gonna give me a huge advantage, especially when I land. When I land, I like to land on top of a rock. And you know, depending on the map, if you're able to see the terrain on the map, you'll know where the high rocks are at or the mountaintops. You wanna land there because that's gonna give you such a height advantage and it's gonna let you clear the area without you having to do so much so much engagement. So I like to run the mortar. The mortar is really effective because I can literally place this on top of the rock. The ads are gonna try to aggro it, but they're not gonna be able to get it. Plus it's gonna be able to clear the area surrounding the map. And in addition to that, it's gonna give me an, a kind of like a notice where the enemy's at so I know where to go and where not to go, especially if I'm looking for this particular rock or if I'm surviving. The other one I like to run is the uh, anything that has to do with uh, orbital strike, orbital laser, or any eagle strike that you might have. These are very good, especially for clearing ads. The, what the, my rule of thumb is: mortar, jetpack, anything that has unlimited use, I want to run it because that's going to be super effective and super fundamental. So what you want to do is once you find the rock, go and collect your samples and just book it. That's why you have the jetpack. You can easily dodge enemies left and right without taking any, any damage. Once you find the extraction zone, you're then gonna look for either a area that has high altitude and you're gonna use your jetpack to get on top of this rock. What this is gonna allow you to do, it's gonna allow you guys to control the area, clear the enemies without too many enemies rushing you at the same time, avoiding you from dying. In addition to that, if for some reason, you do not find an area 
that has high altitude and the exfil is located kind of in the center of the area, kind of like where this is at. You want to stick to the edge of the map, crouch down, and remember, your best friend's going to be the jetpack because this is going to give you a huge advantage in case you're getting really close. You could literally just jetpack a little bit further and just keep running around in circles until the Velican actually drops. Now, one great thing to note is that it will be notifying you via audio cues of when it's dropping. It'll give you a countdown and it makes it really effective. Now, one thing I like to do before the official countdown because then you're not going to be able to throw stratagems, you're going to want to make sure you throw down your mortar because what your mortar is going to do is going to start clearing the area for you. And also the ads are going to aggro to that mortar, which makes it really, really good. Now, one thing they actually went ahead and fixed and made it even kind of buffed it and it works really well here is the airstrike that has a lot of bombardments. That one's really, really good and really effective and clear the area there. But what I want to do, what you want to do is grab the samples, just wait the 12 minutes, wait for the Velican to spawn. And, and basically you could just rinse and repeat this. You really don't have to shoot too much. It's just a matter of surviving and staying alive. And this is by far the best way to get the best way to get samples, and most importantly, the best way to get super samples in the game. Run the blitz mode, put on the jetpack, get in mortar, get high altitude, high uh, high level, high ground, let the mortar do its work, and just clear the ads as you're going there. If you're any times in trouble, use the jetpack to clear yourself some distance. And just wait for the Velican to arrive. In 12 minutes, you should be able to get this done. If you do this pretty effectively, guys, you should be able to get a really good amount of 30 plus super samples in like an hour. So it's actually a very effective method. It'll probably be even super easier if you're doing with this a team. I'm doing this solo, but if you're doing this with a team, you could actually boost this up to all the way to level nine. And you guys will be able to, you know, get a total of six samples. That's over 60 samples in less than an hour. If you're doing the objective, that's even faster. So now you guys want to know what type of build can I use if I'm farming anything else? Well, I'm going to share a build with you guys that is going to be called the Pyromaniac. That's going to bring anything that stands in your way to its feet. So make sure you guys click on this video that's popping up right down on the screen so you guys won't miss that build. Thank you guys for watching and defend Super Earth and to spread some more democracy and freedom. Talk to you guys later.